What's going on Rock Squad? Welcome back to another video. Now today, I know, there. no, listen. I know there's a couple of my viewers out there who actually have beards and will actually be interested in this video, but stay tuned even if you don't have a beard, okay? We're going to be unboxing my Christmas present for my sister. Uh, I haven't used this yet. It's a thermal brush. It's to straighten a beard or really straighten anything, I think. I'm going to see what I look like with a straightened beard because a lot of people are like, yo, you should straighten your beard. And I'm like, I already know what's going to happen. It's going to look really not full. It's just going to look really thin because when you straighten stuff, it gets rid of the density. All right, so here she is. It's the brush right here. Looks pretty nice. I, I assume you just plug it in like any other straightening iron, I'm pretty sure. It did come with directions though. I want to make sure that I'm not going to like burn my beard off because that's my number one fear with these things. This is a lot of directions. Danger warning, danger, important notice. Wet. The appliance should never be left to ten. Use the appliance. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well. I mean, other than a bunch of caution and warnings, I think we're good to go. Now, I did wash my beard. I did not put any product in it simply because, like, we're about to straighten it. So I don't want to, like, you know, have a product in there that's, like, sensitive to heat. And then my beard catches on fire. And then it's just it's safety first. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll hop into the bathroom and we're going to uh, straighten my beard. I'm a bit nervous, you know? I've never straightened my beard. A lot of people wanted me to. A lot of people have been telling me to. Can I straighten your beard? Like, my girlfriend's always asking, and it's just like, I'll do it. Thank you very much, you know? I don't trust anybody to trim my beard either. Like, I used to let my mom trim my beard, then I got my own razor, and then ever since then, it's, I'm my own barber. With my, my, my own beard barber, sorry. And actually, my buddy Colton in high school trimmed my beard a few times in school, but... One time he tried to give me cat scratches, and ever since that day, I, I really haven't let him touch my head. I'm assuming I have to turn it on and wait. I don't know. I mean, there wasn't exactly like a, like a quick start guide. Yeah, it's already pretty freaking warm. Now, my sister did recommend that I use the heat protectant on my beard, which I absolutely okay now this i bought this a while back for my hair back when my hair was a little bit longer it's, i'm actually growing it out again because i'm trying to like grow it down on my shoulder blades make myself look really sexy spray some of this in there just keep it nice and safe from uh any heat ah sprayed up the side of my head whoops oh god i got myself in the eye ah what the frick's wrong with the nozzle oh my god Thank God it didn't get in my eye. I hit my eyelid. There we go. That's a bit better. Just to be safe, you know. You can never be too safe with your beard. Always remember that, gents, okay? If you're doing something to your beard, take as much caution as you can. Because you f*** it up, it's bad news. Also, I apologize for the echo in here. My bathroom is not exactly the most soundproof area. So it's smelling pretty hot. I think we're good to go. I hope. I don't know. But here goes nothing. Oh. I do not like that sound. I don't like that sound at all. Is it just singeing my beard, dude? If I if I singe my beard, I'm gonna be freaking out, okay? You're gonna witness like a, I'm gonna black out, do something wrong. <laughs> I don't like the smoke, why is it smoking? Is it just the heat protectant doing its thing? I'm like scared to get it too close to my face, honestly. It's a steamy boy. Oh, okay, I'm touching my face with it now. It's not actually that hot. It sure sounds hot though, if you can hear it on camera, I don't know. If you guys remember, uh, back in high school, I used to blow dry my beard every morning and I blow dry it straight down because it would straighten it out. Like I would take my comb and I'd just like comb it downward and then I'd blow dry it down and put some balm in it and it would be straight. It's pretty nice. It's definitely not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna make it look really thin, but it, it's actually not looking bad at all. Well, I mean, I think that's about as straight as I'm gonna get it, but holy balls, man. Look at this right now. Oh, I'm happy with this. Dang. Well, 
uh, Kristen, if you're watching this, thank you. That's my little sister. She uh, got me the col She got me this brush for Christmas, and you know I've been meaning to turn it on and use it for a while, but I knew I had to make a video with it. You know, first time ever straightening my beard. I'm actually extremely happy with this. Holy cow! Who wants another beard routine? Because it looks like I'm gonna be straightening my beard every morning from here on out. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw some balm in. You know, if you know me. You know I only do the best premium quality beard product out there, Mad Viking. This is the, you know, Valhalla scent. I don't know why I thought there was something else, but yeah. Valhalla Beard Balm from Mad Viking. Mad Viking Beard Co. is probably my all-time favorite beard company out there. It's a bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So, you know, I always just take a little thingy scoop, put it on the palm of my hand. Chow, like that, you know, nice and shiny. Let me just rub it on through. I'm actually really surprised that I like straightening my beard. I wasn't too sure how I was gonna like it, but I mean, it really doesn't look how I expected it to. Look at that, look at that. I should have straightened my beard years ago. What am I talking about? Now, you know, this is, this is low key, like a beard routine type deal. You know, I washed it in the shower, straightened it, put in the balm. Now I'm gonna use a wooden tooth comb, okay? A lot of people are like, why do you use wood combs? Like, why not just use a plastic comb, blah, blah, blah. Plastic combs cause split ends, brother, all right? You wanna, you wanna make sure your beard's not all split. Mad Viking actually has metal combs, and I'm looking into getting one pretty soon. Just because, you know, why not? Because metal combs look dope. Now, if you guys remember, my ultimate goal with my beard is to get it down to my nipples. And uh, we're, we're getting there, you know, probably about another beard length, and we'll be there. Straightening my beard is the move. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I'm just so surprised. 2020, we out here full sins only, you know? Now we gotta brush it with this nice boar brush. You can probably just find these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I think that's how much this one was. Look at that. Who is he? Who is he? The guy with the straight beard? What? <laughs> no, I'm playing. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about my straight beard. All right, I mean, I dig it, so I really don't give a flying fuck what you have to say about it. But you know, just let me know. It honestly makes it look thicker because, like, when it's all curly and stuff, it looks way. Everybody's been talking that I need to trim it up. Look at how perfect that is. Like, yeah, a little bit here in the middle, but like that, you can't see through that. Everybody's like, you need to trim up the ends and make it more shaped. What do you mean? It's perfect. What up, dog? You, uh, what do you think of my beard? You're a straight beard guy now? Uh, I'm a straight beard guy now. You don't, you don't like it? No, man. It, uh, it looks good. It's just, uh... <laughs> okay. It's kind of... I mean, uh, no, no, man. It's, it's 2020. You, you do you. You know, body positive stuff, but, uh... I've seen better.